Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. Joining us in the studio, I've got Dan Tallin with Carrots Jewelers located right there next to Latour, right outside the uh, west steps to the Vale parking garage. And then the ever so wonderful Carolyn Tyler is here again. Good to see you, dear. Nice to see you. Dan, nice to see you. Thanks for being Good here. Good to see you too. Welcome. Yeah. Um, holiday time right now. You have a lot going on, I'm sure, mm -hmm. in your gallery because you're a working gallery also. Yeah. And Carolyn, you come out a couple times a year. I don't see you too often. Maybe around the 4th of July. That's maybe right. around Christmas, right? Yeah, good times. And then where are you gallivanting in between? Because you, your focus is in Bali, but you travel all over the world. I live in Bali. I've been uh, recently to Brazil, and um, I was in Mexico, and I was on a wonderful two-week liveaboard dive trip in near Papua New Guinea. I get a lot of inspiration under the water. I'm trying to figure out how to write that off. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be a way for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about your your jewelry designs and your focus. We talked off camera about uh, a really unique style. It's called granulation and it's not around, you don't find it very much anymore. So tell us what that's all about. That's right. There's some granulation work, which is the little tiny gold beads, or sometimes they make it in white gold or silver, um, that's applied to the surface of the gold to create a beautiful pattern. And sometimes it is cast, like in Thailand they do that. They used to do it by hand in Greece, where, where I first bought my first piece of jewelry okay. with granulation on it and became kind of obsessed. But what really got me going on that, that technique and the beauty of it was seeing the Cairo Museum collection of artifacts from you know the pharaohs. And the, the technique of granulation started in Sumeria about 6,000 years ago, and it spread through the Middle East and went up into India and down through Asia and came into Indonesia. So in Bali, where I live, they've been doing this for thousands of years. And it's not common. I mean, it's been going on for quite some time, but it's, it's really a niche thing that you and your team focus on. It, yes, I'm sort of known for this technique, and people come in and say, okay. oh, I want, I want, the, I want to, a piece that shows your work, you know, because it's, it's very characteristic. And it's very tedious and time-consuming. That's why and, nobody right? does it. And the children of my goldsmiths did not take up the craft. They're all in hotel management and tourism-related things, and it's tragic. But I'm petitioning the government. I've met the king of Ambon, who heads the president's task force on preservation of Indonesian craft. So he's wow. taken me under his wing, and I am now his official advisor to the jewelry arts in Indonesia. Oh my God. And this next year, 2019, I'm really focusing on preserving this, because this beautiful jewelry that I do is not going to be possible for very much longer if people don't take right. up the craft. Right. Well, hopefully that 100% that works in your favor. Yes. So, I Dan, let's talk mm -hmm. about Carolyn. She's going to be at, the, at your store, at your jewelry studio, mm -hmm. um, for a limited time. Her pieces will be there Through throughout the, the year. Uh, yeah, we always have some Carolyn. Uh, but Carolyn herself is some Carolyn pieces. <laughs> um, I mean, it's true. You have yeah. some Carolyn. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, yeah. she's, mm -hmm. she's had her hands on yeah. everything, so it's been <laughs> blessed in multiple different ways. You know what? That's the right. jewelry yeah. has been blessed. I've, Before I, it leaves my feeling. studio, it, it undergoes a blessing. <laughs> So how long so, are you here for? Through the first. Yeah. Through the first. So through Tuesday. Yeah. Okay. And then when do you come back again? Whenever Dan decides to no, have you come we're, back? We're going to the 4th of July again. Okay. So right around then. Now, are you going to be doing any design work while you're there over I'm the next doing, few days? I, I will do custom design for people. People come in and they say, well, I like this, but I want this element. Yeah. And then I'll, I can custom. I've taken three orders so far this, this show. Okay. And I've already tell you know I've already sent an uh, email to my staff saying make this and so they're they're Honey. on it. And you have people that know you that have come here just to see yes. you. Yeah. See you. Thanks for being here, you guys. Thanks for having Damn, me. Dan, real quick, what time do you open today? We open at ten. Stay open okay. until nine. Okay. And um, we're located right across the street from Solaris, uh, where the ice skating rink is. Or another way to say, if you park in the west end of the Vale structure and walk out, you're walking right at right our there. door. And next totally. to Latour, the best yes. restaurant in town. Two doors east of Latour. Nice to see you. Thank We're right you. back with more of the show.